If you've been following my channel, you would have seen the last several videos I've uploaded have been specifically about the brand new Apple M1 MacBook Air that was just released about a week ago. I managed to get my hands on this bad boy yesterday, and long story short, it is a great device and I'm very, very happy with my purchase. And I actually wholeheartedly recommend everyone who's looking to upgrade their current Mac or to buy a Mac for the first time to buy an M1 MacBook. That being said, there is one very specific reason that you should not buy, and this is really only going to apply to a small percentage of people. So firstly, over the last 10 years or so, we've seen a great deal of compatibility between Macs and other operating systems such as Windows, and that's even allowed users to use Bootcamp, which for those of you who aren't aware, you can dual boot into Windows and Mac on the exact same hard drive. There are also some people that have built Hackintoshes, which is essentially using the Mac operating system on Windows hardware. And a lot of them actually seem to be very stable and powerful machines. Now, Apple's move to the new ARM architecture or the M1 chip is good because you get a lot of performance, you get a lot of battery life, and the experience overall is just a lot better than the old Intel platform. However, this does lock you into the Apple ecosystem for good. Now, what I mean by that is if you were looking to dual boot Windows or you need some kind of compatibility with x86 systems or programs, this ARM based processor is just going to rule all of that out for you. And judging by the path that Apple has taken over the last few years and months, they're going to slowly stop support for those third party apps and programs and compatibility. And they're going to tie everything into the Apple and Mac OS ecosystem entirely. Now, for people like me, I use Windows a lot of the time as well. There are some programs and things and especially gaming that only work in Windows. And on a more personal note on this particular channel, I do a lot of Windows tutorials and I just won't be able to do that on my new M1 MacBook. I could probably use some kind of emulator software or something, but it just doesn't beat the real deal. Now, if this is not a problem for you, which I don't believe it is for 95% of people, again, the M1 Mac is a great piece of gear and I do recommend you to buy one. But if you are one of those people like me that needs to be able to dual boot or you need some other level of compatibility in the future, maybe just hold off for a while and just see where this new M1 and ARM platform goes. Fingers crossed, Apple will try to keep everything as open as possible. But again, who knows what Apple is planning on doing. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll link some other videos in the description on the new M1 MacBook, some comparisons, some speed tests, some editing. So if you are interested, check them out. Apart from that, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.